That's me trying to whistle the Doctor Who theme. So, <clears throat> Random Ross here, and this is my review on uh, Doctor Who. Now, it's not a random review because I planned this. Um, so, what I'm going to do is review last night's episode of the Series 9 premiere of Doctor Who. Um, now, last year when I reviewed the episode, I did it straight after, and it's sort of my head didn't get like much time to process it all and it just felt rushed and it had bad quality because of it being dark and I rely on the daylight a lot so I thought hey why not re-watch it on Sundays on BBC iPlayer and then review it on the same day straight after on YouTube over last overnight my brains had time to process it all so Doctor Who review so this is the review on the series premiere Episode 1, The Magician's Apprentice. So, the episode started off alright with um, some war going on. Um, yeah, a war going on. And also, we, we were thinking, oh, hand mimes, hands with eyes on. And then there was that little boy, I'm thinking, oh, is this like Gallifrey or something a long time ago? Is that the Doctor or the Master? But then, to my surprise... Um, you know, the Doctor was going to save a young boy trapped in the hand mines. And that young boy turned out to be none other than the creator of the Daleks, Davros. Now, I'm thinking, so did the Doctor create Davros? And Dav so in order for Davros to create the Daleks, did the Doctor actually create Davros's future? Obviously, it was obviously the first Doctor that Davros saw... Well, wasn't the fourth Doctor, it was the twelfth Doctor. Uh, and he abandoned him and left him there. Um, but yeah, uh, the episode, what was happening in it, this weird like creature, I can't remember what it was called, slivers around looking for the Doctor. They go to the Shadow Proclamation, and then they um, he finds uh, Clara and Missy. And, you know, that was no surprise Missy returning, because I knew she was going to come back in the series premiere. And also, um, the Daleks, I know they were coming back, I just didn't expect them to come back in the premiere. Uh, also, I wasn't expecting Davros to return at all. At all, but maybe it'll tie the loose ends from series 4, which was back in 2008, which has been quite a while since we last saw Davros. Um, but yeah, Davros was like on his deathbed and he wanted to uh, make, he wanted to talk with the Doctor scene one last time and he did. And then um, the Doctor was suspicious whether it was a trap or not, uh, whether it was, I just, I don't know, not 100%, but I think it was a trap. Um so yeah, Missy actually became the good guy, I think. Missy the good guy. <laughs> it's a odd universe, but the Master... Well, I don't think the Master has ever been a proper... Like, like an enemy. I think he's just been his best friend. As he said in the uh, series... As he said in some of the prequels, enemies are friends you just don't know yet. Or something like that, I'm not sure. But... Um, yeah, Missy made a comeback and actually tagged along with the Doctor and Clara. Um, but I... And also they had the TARDIS, so basically the cliffhanger there was the Daleks destroyed Missy and Clara and the TARDIS. Now I'm just thinking this is just going to be a cliffhanger. It's a typical cliffhanger looking like it's the end and how they're going to resolve it. You know... In my uh, opinion alone, I don't think Clara and Missy are dead, neither is the TARDIS. I think that Missy's planned this, she's set out a trap for the Daleks, a surprise trap. Um, also, the Daleks in it, they had a huge nod to the classic Daleks, because we saw a 1963 Dalek, we saw the Imperial Dalek, we saw Dalek Sec, we saw 
we saw loads of generations of Daleks, and that was like a huge nod to that classic Who. Um, but yes, the Doctor and Davros have unfinished business with one another, and um, well, basically, the Doctor you had the chance to save Davros, and now basically the shoe is on the other foot, and Davros is making the Doctor plea. Um, but yeah, the the whole episode ended where the Doctor was about to exterminate Davros. So I'm thinking, if the Doctor, like, like he questioned in the 1975 story, Genesis of the Daleks, did does that mean he's going to become evil? We don't know. We have to find out next week in the second part of the two-parter, The Witcher's Familiar. So, yes, I think that's all I've got to say about this week's episode. Did I enjoy it? Yes, I think it was great. Episode 2 has a lot to live up to because, well, you know, it's going to have to try and top it. So, yes, uh, if you like this video... Um, Please give it a like. If you want to share, please share. And thumbs up, like it. And um, yeah, let me know what you thought of the episode in the comments down below. Uh, and also, uh, feel free to um, also you know, subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you after this one. And also, don't forget to follow me on social media, Facebook and Twitter down below, where there are links to them. And yeah, so till next time. Goodbye, friends.